Hey guys, uh, Bill with uh, Bear Island Landing. Um, I just, my homemade homemade solar generator, I'm powering my house right now with it. Um, the power's out. So I decided that, you know, I wanna see if I can get some power on this place and see how it works. So as you can see here, I've got my homemade solar generator. I got a couple, I got five kilowatts of power right there coming off those two um, big batteries. And my my MPP solar right now is power in the house and I plugged my, my uh, house into this outlet <clears throat> that I made for my generator. So this thing plugs right in here, but I made this so I can plug power my house but also power my cabin up at the lake. So right now I'm pulling down 400 watts of power that are that's going you know out of the batteries into the house, and I'm running two refrigerators, and I'm running uh, um, a, uh, my heater because it's winter time here in Minnesota. I'm running my heater as well as um, a freezer and some uh, kitchen lights, etc. So we're gonna go inside and we'll take a look and see see what we got powered up inside right now. So what happened is when the, uh, let's close this here. So basically what this is, is this is my generator cutout. So by, by uh, when the power goes out, I just throw these two levers to the right. Okay. And that takes, that turns power off. So if I go like this, power's down. Okay. The system is completely turned off. All right. If I uh, come to the right, okay. And back to the right. Now I'm powering everything back up inside the uh, inside the house. So I don't have every circuit in the entire house, but I've got my water system, I've got my heater, okay, I've got both of my downstairs refrigerators and freezers, and I have my upstairs upstairs kitchen and my refrigerator running off of running off of my generator, or my solar generator. So this is pretty slick. Um, so now the power's out, I got power back on the place. So kind of excited. It ain't gonna last very long because, you know, I'm drawing about, you know, maybe 300 watts and I've got five kilowatts. I could get by quite a while. Um, but, so right now I'm jumping between 170 watts to 280 watts. This is a 2.4 kilowatt system. Um, um, I'm putting out and it's cloudy so I can't really plug my solar um, uh, I can't plug my uh, my solar power in so I'm not going to bring, bring much for solar power back into my batteries but the bottom line is I'm just tickled pink that I've got power off of this homemade solar generator and I can actually power my house with it right from this system right here. So you can see I'd normally have my generator plugged in out here making noise if the power went out, but instead I'm running it off a solar generator. And uh, you know, a guy could actually put this inside his basement and then, and then wire it from inside the house and have power if the power ever went out, you know, for any length of time. So anyway, um, it's just a short video, but I thought maybe you'd enjoy seeing um, what it's like when the power goes out and how to actually bring power in um, on a homemade solar uh, power generator. So here we have it. Ooh, so I just jumped to 900 watts. So I heard it kick on. So something big on that went back down to 250 watts. So something kicked on. Um, could be my heating system, could be my um, my refrigerators. Again, I've got I've got two refrigerators, a freezer, my heater, my water softener. Um, I don't have my well pump on it, but I've got everything else on it. So other than that, that's it. It's, uh, it's being powered, so I'm excited. Anyway, until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.